so I was watching the news earlier on and there was a source that said that there could be up to there could have been as, up to as much as 45 million people in Britain that have had this virus you know and obviously that said Boris Johnson basically his government's got it uh, his, uh, his the health secretary and it's uh, and they've got they've got the the worst kind too because what a lot of people don't understand is in this virus there's two different strains there's coronavirus and there's a uh, COVID uh, nineteen. Okay, now. So I I noticed it a month ago. All my family went ill. We all we all had a kind of cough, chest thing, you know. So uh, we that might have been it. And if anyone else has been ill recently, in that the chances are it probably was uh, Corona, which is good because once you get out of the way, come on, watch yourself. That's my dog. Once you get that out of the way then it's like a vaccine, you're kind of immune to, to it again. But what scientists are trying to work out is if once you've had coronavirus, are you going to be immune to COVID-19, you know, which is the more is the more dodgy one. And it's like, I looked at the stats the other day, there's, I think it was, uh, I looked at the, I can't remember the figures, but I looked at the registered number of cases in the UK, and looked at the death toll and I done the maths and it's killing uh, one person every 2,000 to contact it. So it's like, just because you get coronavirus, it doesn't mean you're going to be in hospital on a ventilator. Now, they reckon it could be some sort of genetic uh, thing that is, you know, some, some people's body can handle it, some people's body can't, Just it's just a genetic thing, just reacts bad to it, but most, most people can actually have it and it's just uh, hardly any symptoms at all, next to nothing, you know. But this is why we do have to isolate ourselves because it's, although it's not really affecting some people bad, you could pass on to someone else, it could really affect them, you know, and that's what we don't want to happen. But that's not what I came on today to speak about. And apparently it's went really bad in America as well, which is, it's just all over the world. I've never seen an epidemic like this. There was... What was there? There was the Spanish flu. That was bad. That killed 50 million people just after World War Two. You know, so I hope we don't get anything like that again. But this is really restricting our, our uh, freedom. And it's, uh, at least we've still got a little bit. We can still go for a walk and we can still go to the shop. I want, I want to read this whole chapter. I'll just be in and I want to explain something about it. I'm sorry for bored. I'll try and be quick. I just want to shut the store. <coughs> I've really been studying this just now because I believe, well, I'll just start reading. Matthew chapter 24. Then Jesus went, I have to tell you, I need to get a, a Bible with a bigger printer. I need a magnifying glass to read this. Then Jesus went out and departed from the temple and his disciples came out to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said to them, do you not see all these things? Assuredly, I say to you, not one stone shall be left here upon another that shall not be thrown down. That's already happened. The signs of the times and the final uh, end of the age, this chapter is called. Now, as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately saying, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of age? Okay, because for anyone that doesn't know, uh, this may be not, not from a Christian background or doesn't really read the word of that. Jesus did say he would come back again and he would restore the earth and basically all the earth would be like Eden again. He would he would restore it and this time there'll be no death, there'll be no pain, there'll be no suffering. The lion will lie down with the lamb, it says, a young child playing next to a cobra pit, you know, it'll just be, it'll be a paradise again, you know, and it's like, that's the way God intended it to be, okay, but man, man, it's a long story, I think we all know what man done, you know, he blew it. And Jesus answered, this is after them saying, uh, "What will, what will the sign of your coming and of the and of the end of the age be?" And Jesus answered, and said to them, "Take heed that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, saying I am the Christ, and will deceive many." Now, <coughs> believe it or not, we've got false Christs on the earth today. In fact, you've got people going about claiming they're Jesus Christ. There's one particular in Russia, uh, who's. He's got a following of a couple of thousand people, you know, and he's, he's building his garden, you know, and it's just ridiculous because he's, it's just clearly not Jesus, 
You know, and he tries to dress like Jesus. He's got long hair, even though we don't even know what Jesus looked like. But people just, people are just gullible. The Bible gives you clear signs if you're interested. Read Revelation uh, 1 and that'll tell you how, how you know that, 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 that the Christ come. For many will come in my name, saying I am the Christ, and will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumours of wars. Now, we've been, you know, we we had that, uh, oh, there's been wars and rumours of wars for ages. And one of the major ones, and uh, just slightly before my time anyway, was uh, the Cold War. In the, I think it was in the 50s. And they were actually, they were away to go. They thought that there was a nuclear war going to break out. And they, uh, they started building bunkers. They actually started building bunkers to protect themselves from a nuclear warfare, you know. And there's actually one you can visit. They've got it as a museum now. I've, I've been there. It's over in, I think it's over in Fife, if I mind right. So there'll be rumours of wars. See that you're not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. Okay, so th these things have got to happen. Okay, there'll be more rumours of wars probably. But the end is not yet. So he's telling you, it's not, don't worry, it's not over yet. For nation will rise against nation. Now that has happened. I mean, from the Crusades to, uh, like like I say, Vietnam. Uh, just think of all the conflicts in the world. You know, uh, look at look at the two major ones that we had last century: World War One, World War Two. I mean, that was the whole world was in warfare. I mean, they, they were massive battles. You know, they they were massive wars. They killed millions of people. So, for nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, it's, ha it's happened, and there will be famines, that's happened, that's happened now, pestilences, well, wh what's this we're going through, and earthquakes in various places, I mean, like I said, uh, I've done a study on earthquakes and that, and you can go and look at this on the internet, last century, they've never seen so many earthquakes in the whole human history, as what we'd seen, so that's come to pass, I mean, it was a tsunami, which is basically an earthquake, wiped out a, basically wiped out the whole country, you know, quite frightening stuff. Now, where, where was I? All these are the beginnings of sorrows. Some translations put it, these are the beginnings like birth pangs or labour pains, you know, meaning just, that's it, that's it just starting to come on. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you. And you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. Now, this is this is obviously Jesus was speaking to the disciples, okay, and he he told them that you're going to be hated for my name's sake, and you're going to be killed. And I believe he's, the Lord's speaking to his Christians today as well. We're hated. We're looked on as weird. Um, we we love the Lord. You want to see the amount of Christian persecution that's going on in the world? Christians are actually being killed for their faith, you know. So that's uh, come to pass. And many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Now, look at the amount of hate. Like, we've got racism just because of someone's skin colour or creed. We've got the Ku Klux Klan. Look at, look at the, look at all the hatred we had in Ireland and that conflict. And just look at the hatred we've got in general in the earth. You know, it's, it's, it's just, uh, it's ridiculous. You know, you could go, you could go on all day speaking about hatred. Jealousy and all, all this rubbish. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you behave. No, I've just read that. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Yes, what I read. Then many false prophets will rise and deceive many. False prophets, <sighs> no half. You want uh Oh, the amount of people. There's medium psychics now that are trying to, and 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 there's people that are prophesying. It's not coming to pass. They're just saying what they want. You know, and it's just, it's just the the false prophecy is unbelievable. You know, you get people say, even 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 just in the church and stuff, right? I've had I've had people come to me with words, okay, and say, "Oh, the Lord's telling me this, and it's not came to pass." You know, <laughs> it's just uh, terrible. You know, and and, and that and I tell you, this, that's a very that's a very serious thing to God. If, you, if the consequences for doing that in the Old Testament, if someone gave a prophecy that didn't come to, you know, then. Uh, the consequences were, oh, I'm not even going to, but it was extreme. <clears throat> Where am I? And lawlessness will abound. The love of many will grow cold, right? And there's got to be lawlessness now. That's what we see today. 
Come on, just look at just look at the world. Look how look how greedy he is. You know, I was I was watching a film the other night called Black Hawk Down, and it was actually about the Red Red Cross, who were uh, they had this charity in Somalia, okay, and what they done was <coughs> they uh, the Red Aid were sending in their goods, and it was getting stole by Sno uh, Somalian pirates and. Even, yeah, even uh, the seas are full of Somalian pirates, you know, and it's not just Somalia, there's fraud everywhere, you know. But he endures the end shall be saved. So don't, you don't give up, you don't give up. And I'm not saying you have to work for your salvation, but just don't, you don't give up heart, you know, you keep, you keep going for Christ, you know, and it's not a working thing. We're, we're saved by grace, but it's just telling you, didn't grow cold, didn't give up because of what you're seeing around you, you know. But he, that's what just read. And this gospel of the kingdom, now this this is the final sign. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all nations, and then the end will come. So when that happens, that's it. Jesus is coming back. Now, you think about this: a tiny little town in Israel. Okay, well, uh, sorry, a tiny little country, Israel. Okay, started and set out. Uh, Sent it maybe a few hundred people, a few thousand, I don't know, to evangelize the world. Okay. Now, how could how could uh, someone from from the middle uh, from the Middle East that day get to somewhere like America? They couldn't, you know. Uh, I mean, the apostles did do uh, a good job. Thomas went on to evangelize India, according to church history. And Paul the apostle, yeah, he he uh, he went to the Greeks, and he was. Uh, he, he was in various places, you know. They made they made efforts, but it would take time. So when when the word of God comes to all the nations, then that's the end. Okay, I'm not joking. You can go on the internet now. Okay, there's some, there's some people on the internet. I hardly get any views on my videos, but I don't care. I'm just trying to touch anyone I can. But there's people that can go on there and get millions of views, and there's people from all over the world watching them. You've got you've got Sky Television going out to. Countless nations on earth, you know, uh, got the God channels and stuff. That's happened as well. So everything in that chapter, okay, which Jesus says would happen before he came, has happened. And he told you when the gospel's gone, uh, not every man on earth, he didn't say, he said all the nations, okay, then the end will come. That's the end. And that's happening now, you know, so... I don't think it's going to be much longer, folks. So I would just, if anyone out there has not accepted Jesus Christ yet, don't don't think this is fantasy because the amount of prophecies in the Bible and that, that have come to pass is unbelievable. It's predicted things to pinpoint precision that's actually happened, you know. So I'm not trying to scare anyone. I'm just trying to say I think now is the time we stop mucking about and we stop being prideful and we stop loving our life. And uh, we love the Lord. We come to Jesus, you know. And we get we get born again. We get filled with the Holy Spirit, and then we can I we can all have fellowship upstairs with, with Christ. Well, we're, we're on earth because Christ will bring heaven down to earth. But we'll be in the presence of God again, and there'll be no more pain, no more suffering. We'll be with our our family in that again. You, you, you know that put their <coughs> pardon me that put their trust in Christ. You know, and again I just urge. Sorry, I spoke for a wee bit too long. Let's just keep praying this coronavirus. God will have a wee bit of mercy, and, which he will if we ask him, and this coronavirus just passes. We can get back to a normal life, you know? Because this is, this is a, I'm going to be honest, this is quite boring, like, you know, and I'm, I, what I'm, I'm not fearing, but what I'm concerned about is if they, I don't want them to put further lockdowns on us, further restriction, you know, we're still getting that one walk a day, at least, you know, we're still allowed to do that. And, uh, it might come to the stage where only one member of your household is allowed out of the house a day to get to get food, and that's it, you know. Uh, and you'd, we'll just have to sit in the house. But I think I think this is going to pass, you know. And we'll see how it goes. God, God bless, folks. That was Matthew twenty four. Bye.